driven by Toyota. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Fox 56 Sports Show, driven by Toyota. I'm Aaron Dugan. Well, tonight we'll talk with the Holy Cross softball team, Joe Ross taking the reins after the loss of a coaching legend, XC McAndrew, who passed away just after Christmas. We'll check in with the Crusaders as they begin their regular season schedule. Bob Ide brings us a story on the Lewisburg tennis team, a staggering 32-2 record in the last two years, and they're looking for their seventh straight Heartland Conference Division II title. In this week's Spotlight, John Mandola talks with the lacrosse team at Coughlin as they begin their first season as a program. You'll meet two young Penguins prospects in this week's On the Ice, plus a segment you'll want to stick around for. In a special Chillin' with the Penguins segment, you'll meet some of the players' four-legged friends, and they are adorable. Well, let's start things out tonight with the Holy Cross softball program coming into this season dealing with the loss of not only a coach, but a softball legend. It was a tough offseason for the young ladies of the Holy Cross softball team. Their legendary coach, Exe McAndrew, unexpectedly passed away the day after Christmas. McAndrew won 501 games at the helm of the Holy Cross program, formerly Bishop O'Hara. He won a state championship in 2001 and was a Hall of Fame coach and former player. But all of those accomplishments aside, he's remembered for something far greater, for being a man of great character, a mentor, and a role model. He was just so exciting every single practice. I was just so looking forward to coming and seeing what he had in store that day. He was such a jokester. He would throw the ball up in the air as if it was coming at you and like run away from it as if it was gonna hit you and just stuff like that. He was so goofy, but he was just so fun to be around. He always brought life into the dugout, but he knew when to get serious and when it was time to play. We're all right. Like you said, the off season was rough. It was a really hard time for all of us, but with Coach Ross and the new coaching staff, they really push us and try to keep us away from the idea of there's no more XC, it's Coach Ross now. So that helps us like to keep us emotionally there through the game. And he loved each and every one of us. Um, during practices, we would shag, and he'd be right here at the pitcher's mound. And we would like, someone would be like picking up a ball like right by him, and he'd do this little dance move, as he called it. And he would scare us as if there was like a ball coming to hit us, and he'd be like, what, I'm just dancing. And he did it constantly. It was like always and always made us laugh. Joe Ross stepped in to fill XC's shoes the former baseball coach of five years at Scranton Prep wanted to come into this season focusing on fundamentals, work ethic, but most importantly, having fun. If you're not having fun, you're not playing softball, as Coach Ross says. And like playing with less tension, you know, once you're having fun, you can play the best you can. Oh, absolutely. And that's one of the things I think uh, we tried to bring is a very organized, structured practice with an emphasis on fundamental. But at the end of the day, and one of the things that we talk about before every game is play hard, play smart, and have fun. You know, the relaxed atmosphere, when you look at really good teams play, it's that relaxed atmosphere that allows the players to, uh, I really think, Excel. Now, it's tough. I mean, Exie McAndrew was a legend, um, you know, not only on the field, but probably more importantly off the field, that he created a program that, it, you know, they just produced good people more so than good players. And it's really humbling to follow in his footsteps and be given the, the reins of the program at Holy Cross. He definitely knows so much about the game. There's always little tricks and little things he t like shows us, even just like goofing off, but it, in reality, it actually helps us. So. With someone there like that, with our young team and like trying to build back what we had, he's a great fit. Well, it's been a change for us, but I mean, Coach Ross has been awesome. He's the best possible replacement that we could have gotten. And we're just trying to work through it. Um, it is tough sometimes, and we do plan on doing a ceremony for XE in our first game, our, game, our league opener, but it's just a process working through it. We lost the majority of our team last year, so coming in this year, we have a lot of freshmen, and I think the fundamentals and like dynamics that Coach Ross works with really is helping to improve our team this year. With only one senior on the team and a slew of starters who graduated, some may say it's a rebuilding year for Holy Cross softball. Even so, the Crusaders have a ton of talent and a great attitude about attacking the season ahead. This year is more of a building year but we should be pretty competitive, and that's our main goal is to be competitive and try to get back to the district championship at least. Being the only senior on the team, we are a relatively young team, and since I was a freshman, I've just had great captains to look up to. So I'm just trying to mirror their 
performance and how they treated everyone as best as I can and be someone that the girls could look up to, especially uh, the uh, underclassmen. The one senior is Erin Cranick and she's been phenomenal from a leadership perspective. And I think me coming in new and the other coaches coming in, it's been an adjustment for her and we couldn't ask any more of her from a leadership standpoint. While we're young, we'll have some sophomores and juniors that, um, you know, I guess it is kind of a little bit of a rebuilding year, but I like to think that we're going to compete, um, go out, play the game the right way, and I think that we're going to surprise some people.